This is the 4K Laser Ultra Short Throw Projector from Vava. This retails for $2,799. But is this thing any good? Well, we'll put it through its paces, so let's take a closer look. So my friends, today's sponsors, Fast Host, have let me write a question for their techie test. Now, if you're based in the UK and you know the answer, then you've got a chance to win two tickets to South by Southwest, and that includes flights and accommodation. Okay, your question is, when referring to projectors, what does UST stand for? I'll give you more details of how to enter later in the video. Those of you looking to do some research on Vava, well, you're not going to find any other projectors that they've made because this is actually their debut model. And as debuts go, this is not a bad one. Now, Vava are a company that was formed in 2015 and are probably more familiar to producing products like baby monitors, dash cams and other accessories. So this, the 4K laser projector, well, it's very exciting. At the end of last year, we looked at one of its competitors, and that was this, the Optima P1 in the US, or the UHZ65 UST in the UK. Now, this, again, was a really impressive machine. It looked fantastic and produced a brilliant image. And I think what these manufacturers are recognizing with these ultra short throw projectors, which effectively are visible to the world because they sit right in front of your screen, is that they do have to look good. Now, I really believe that both Optima and Vava have completely nailed the brief when it comes to design. These projectors look fantastic. The simple lines, and I absolutely love the fabric wrap, really does feel premium. On the back, you've got all the usual connectors that you would expect. There's three HDMI with one audio return channel. There's a USB audio output, AV input. You've got your optical for sound, and you've got your Ethernet port. There's also, obviously, the power. Just one simple button on top, and on the sides, just two simple dials which control the height of the legs. As you can see, there's large vents on both sides and with the three fans that are built in, it keeps it very cool and effectively very quiet. Okay, so I think it's time we got this thing fired up. Now we're using this ALR screen from VividStorm. It's an ambient light rejecting screen and these work perfectly with laser ultra short throw projectors. I'll leave the link to the review I did on this screen in the description and up above. We're not going to be covering a full setup video in this one, this is purely the review, but if you are interested in that, I have previously done it, and I will link that in the description and above. Now guys, if you're UK based, then you can win a trip to Austin, Texas, United States with our sponsor Fast Hosts. All you've got to do is listen to the next section and answer the very simple question. If you're not interested in that and you live outside of the area, then please skip to the time on the screen where the video continues. Now today's sponsors Fast Hosts offer a wide range of web hosting products and other services to help you bring your projects to life. If you're based in the UK and you're looking to start a business or you already have, then you're going to need a website to go with it. Regardless of your experience, Fast Hosts can give you all the tools to build a strong web presence. Now, a couple of features which I really like are firstly the website builder. Now, this is a place where you can easily design great websites using the beautiful drag and drop templates. There's absolutely no coding knowledge required and you can create mobile optimized sites within just a short space of time. You can get up to three months free and if you're not completely satisfied in the first 30 days, then you can cancel your contract without paying a penny. Another one that I love is the e-commerce website builder. Now this is a fast and simple way for any business to sell online. The very intuitive drag and drop interface makes it so easy to build a customized shop on the web. It's a great way for people with absolutely no technical knowledge to create an online store. You can choose again from a wide range of e-commerce websites and customize them just with that drag and drop function. It's easy to add product details, upload photographs and set up payment and shipping options with no designers or developers required. Okay, let's get back to that techie question and where you can win two tickets to South by Southwest, including flights and accommodation, just by answering this question. When referring to projectors, what does UST stand for? Now, in order to enter the competition, follow the link in the description and submit your answer. Remember guys that Fast Hosts are based in the UK with their cutting edge UK data centers based right alongside their offices. And whether you go for the lightweight web hosting package or a fully fledged service, you can talk to their expert support teams 24 seven. 
OK, so we've got the projector set up and turned on. And the first test that we're going to be doing is in daylight conditions. And when I pan up and show you the screen, I'm sure you'll agree it's pretty impressive. Now, I've just paused this image just so that you can see it in its entirety. But this is projecting onto a 100 inch ALR screen. And that ALR screen will also make some difference in these ambient light conditions. My dog is always asleep, as you can see. But this is a very, very bright room. I've also got lights on as well, and so therefore, this is a brilliant image. Now it is two and a half thousand lumens, so that's what's pumping out that brightness. And with that ambient light rejecting screen, that really does have a, an effect on making sure that the image is as bright as possible, which I'm sure you can see. Let me know what your thoughts are, guys, but this is pretty crisp. It's one of the best that we've seen. Now the sound that you're hearing is coming directly from the Harman Kardon speaker. There are two 30 watt speakers and again they produce some of the best sounds we've seen. Now I do believe that these central UST laser projectors are missing a little bit of a trick because they should also be able to double up as a centre speaker in a 5.1 or 7.1 surround system because for instance with this screen it's not an audio pass through screen and so therefore it would be great to have that speaker as a dedicated centre channel. Okay, so I'm going to touch on the downloading of different applications and what you can do within the actual system itself. But one thing that you must do when you've got extra things, peripherals plugged in, like a Blu-ray player or a satellite cable, is to go into the hidden menu, which is basically just a long press on the menu, and then you need to make sure HDMI CEC is turned on and also HDMI 2.0 is turned on. Otherwise, you'll be limited and you won't be able to get true 4K HDR on any of your third-party devices, like a Blu-ray player that you may plug in. Now I have seen a couple of reviews where it says that you can't install YouTube, but you can, as you can see, this is YouTube now. And even better, you can get it in 60 frames per second and in HDR. And so if you have got those videos which are shown in that format, then you'll get all of the benefits of that, as you can see on the screen now. Now another really good advantage with the VAVA compared to something like the Xiaomi projector is the fact that everything is in English straight away. And so therefore the navigating through those menu systems, the translation and problems that you get sometimes with Chinese translation into English, you just don't see on this VAVA. And so therefore operating it, learning the different menu, again, which I'm not boring you with, I'm just giving you a quick overview here, but learning all of that is very, very simple with this, the VAVA. So that's definitely an advantage and more akin to obviously the Optima. I mentioned earlier the fact that you can download your own apps directly to this, and that is via Aptoy TV, which is one of those programs which is a little bit hit and miss. I found that the smart YouTube app which I downloaded was brilliant. It worked excellently and had no problems with. However, things like Netflix and others that I tried, I just couldn't get to work. So I definitely recommend, and I'm sure if you're spending this type of money, that you'll have your own device that you'll be plugging in, something like a Shield, something like an Apple TV, and I would say that that is going to be far better. In general, out of the box, this produced an amazing picture. However, it was slightly oversaturated and a little bit too vivid. Now, the calibration of these types of projectors are obviously down to the individual, but you have got full customization as well, so you can literally get it exactly how you want. I just found some of these colors a little bit too bright and a little bit too just glary for my taste. Now, also, when we were looking at HDR content, that had an effect as well, but as soon as we dialed that back again, you definitely got more detail detail and it was a lot more obvious that HDR content. But this handled blacks really well and I was really surprised that even in a pretty bright room it did a pretty good job. But changing everything is very very simple. You've got separate modes that you can switch between but as soon as you start changing anything then that creates its own customization mode and that's absolutely fine because that is definitely something that you're going to want to play with. 
Now a number of you will be asking what this is like if you're gaming. Certainly if you're playing first person games like Gran Turismo, something like this, it's no problem at all. It looks incredible on that huge screen and it is just so immersive. However, if you're playing something which is maybe a multiplayer online and you need that speed, then the 100 millisecond input lag is probably going to be just slightly too slow for you. And so therefore you may want to go for something a little bit quicker. However, the imagery, the detail, the HDR content was just absolutely stunning. I absolutely love playing this at this type of size. It was just incredible. Now we do recommend that you keep motion detection turned on because if you do then get a child for instance looking at the laser or trying to then you'll get the screen turn off and it will say do not stare at the laser beam which you can then just press any key to exit. Guys, I will leave a full summary of the tech specs at the end of this video, which is coming up shortly. But the other thing I just wanted to have a little bit of a gripe about, if you're spending this type of money, then I like the look of this as a remote control, and it's very functional, it really does work well. But please make it backlit, it's $2,799, and we want a backlit remote. So guys from Varva, great job on your first effort, but there are some improvements that you need to make for the second one, and starting with that remote control. So my friends, in summary, I think that this is quite an astonishing debut from Vava. Now just imagine what the second or third generation model of this is going to turn into. Yes, there are some noticeable shortcomings. That input lag for gamers is definitely going to be an issue. I'm not a great fan of the Aptoid store, that is also pretty poor, and the remote is something not to write home about. But it's got so many other good things going for it, and for a first showing, this is quite stunning. So well done and a tip of the hat, and also the price point is probably very, very sensible. Now let's look at the actual tech specs. Now I know that not everyone is a big fan of all the tech specs, that's why I've left it right to the end folks. But if you are, this is operating a DLP Texas Instruments 4K chip. Now that is the same pixel shifting technology which creates 8.3 million pixels. It has up to 2,500 ANSI lumens, a 1.5 million to 1 contrast ratio, and that will deliver a screen size up to 150 inches. Now that is significantly higher than some of its competitors. It runs an Android 7.1 operating system that includes 2 gig of RAM and 32 gig of hard drive space and you have built in electronic focus, electronic keystone correction and that awful Aptoid store. Also this does have HDR10 which again is a great feature. The audio as we've already discussed is Harman Kardon speakers with two 30 watt speakers built in, Bluetooth in and out, Dolby Audio, DTS HD and optical SP diff. Now, as well as those other main specs there, there are some other things which are interesting. This is very quiet at less than 32 decibels, so that is a big factor. There's three HDMI ports, one with audio return channel, one USB, and one network RJ45. There's an AV 3.5mm input, and also a line out, which is either optical or 3.5mm. And my friends, that is it. That is my review on the Vava 4K Ultra Short Throw Laser Projector. Now, make sure if you're UK-based that you do enter that competition because you can win that trip to the United States. Thanks as always my friends for watching this video and I look forward to seeing you on the next.